Today, we'll present the list of all upcoming military aircraft of USA. This list is a combination of fighter aircraft, drones, helicopters, support aircraft, and all those which will be used by the US Armed Forces. So without further ado, let's just get started. Firstly, we have the MD-969. This is a light twin-engine attack helicopter designed to fulfill future assault and attack demands. The helicopter will be equipped with modern avionics and flight control technologies that allow the crew to easily execute various duties. MD-969 fast attack helicopter can attain a cruise speed of 296 km per hour and a maximum speed of 333 km per hour. It offers a maximum endurance of 4.3 hours. Next, we have the S-97 Raider. It is a high-speed scout and attack compound helicopter, which is under development by Sikorsky Aircraft. The S-97 design includes variable-speed rigid coaxial main rotors and a variable pitch pusher propeller, making the S-97 a compound helicopter. Based on the technology from the Sikorsky X-2 demonstrator, the prototype S-97s will be powered by a General Electric YT-706 turboshaft. Up next is the Piasecki X-49A Speed Hawk. This is a concept aircraft based on applying X-49A compounding concepts to a production UH-60 Black Hawk offering better performance, range, and increases in useful load. The concept of the experimental program was to apply the vector thrust ducted propeller technology to a production military helicopter to determine any benefit gained through increases in performance or useful load. Next is the AVX helicopter. The AVX aircraft proposed an aircraft with their coaxial rotor and twin ducted fan design that provides better steering and some additional forward power. This design is for the Army future long range attack aircraft. All armaments will be stored inside until needed to provide a clean aerodynamic design. It is capable of flying at 230 knots with 40% lift from the small forward wings and 60% from the 17-meter rotors. Next is the Sikorsky Lockheed Martin VH-92. This is the next-generation presidential transport helicopter being developed for the U.S. Marine Corps. It is a militarized variant of the Sikorsky S-92. The helicopter features a crash-worthy fuselage, integrating twin turboshaft power plant and a fully articulated composite main rotor. It is powered with two General Electric CT-78A turboshaft engines. Up next, we have the Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant. This is the Sikorsky aircraft and Boeing entry for the United States Army's future vertical lift program, succeeding the joint multi-role initiative. It is a compound helicopter with rigid coaxial rotors, which made its first flight on 21st March 2019. Sikorsky Boeing states the SB-1 will be quick and nimble, with fast acceleration and deceleration and the capability to hover with the tail up and nose down. Next, we have the Bell 360 Invictus. This is a proposed helicopter design intended to meet the United States Army requirement for a future attack reconnaissance aircraft FARA. It is based on technology from the Bell 525 Relentless. The design of the Bell 360 delivers advanced speed, range, and agility. Next, we have the T-7 Red Hawk. This is an advanced jet trainer produced by Boeing in partnership with SAP. It is a completely new sophisticated pilot training system that will train the next generation of fighter and bomber pilots. Boeing was awarded a $9.2 billion deal by the United States Air Force for 351 T-7A advanced trainers, 46 simulators, and support. Up next, we have the KCX tanker program. This program is to procure its next-generation aerial refueling tanker aircraft to replace some of the older Boeing KC-135 Strato tankers. The U.S. Air Force's main requirement for this program is fuel offload and range at least as great as the KC-135, airlift capability, 
ability to take on fuel in flight, and multi-point refueling capability. Next, we have the Future Tactical Unmanned Aircraft System FTUAS. The FTUAS will be a low to medium altitude aircraft with modern data links, electro optical infrared sensors. The FTUAS provide brigade combat teams improved ability to execute reconnaissance and surveillance operations that collect, develop, and report actionable intelligence information about the enemy. Up next, we have the Lockheed Martin LMXT Strategic Tanker. The LMXT complements the U.S. Air Force's tanker capabilities by providing the most advanced aerial refueler to meet America's immediate and long-term mission requirements. The LMXT is built on the combat-proven design of the Airbus A330 multi-role tanker transport. Up next, we have the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray. This is an aerial refueling drone that first flew, flew on 19th September 2019. It responds to the carrier-based air refueling system requirement with secondary intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. Boeing's MQ-25 design is powered by one Rolls-Royce AE-307N turbofan engine, delivering 10,000 pounds force of thrust. It is expected to enter service in 2026. Up next is the EC-37B. This is an electronic warfare aircraft, an airborne tactical electronic warfare system manufactured by BAE Systems. The EC-37B Compass Call aircraft is expected to provide enhanced standoff jamming capability for the USAF. It is integrated with the modern Compass Call airborne tactical weapon system, which delivers high mission effectiveness while ensuring survivability of the pilots and operators. Next, we have the Lockheed Martin SR-72. This is an American hypersonic UAV concept intended for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance as a successor to the retired Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. Though it could carry weapon to strike, but its main purpose is for surveillance and reconnaissance. The SR-72 could enter service in the 2030s. Up next is the B-52J. The goals of a whole aircraft upgrade would be to prolong the aircraft service life and adapt to opponent system advancement since the initial design. This new upgrade bomber with advanced radar can detect and ID enemy surface combatants from outside their weapons range. The B-52J might be the most lethal anti-ship capability the US has ever had, thanks to new sensors and armaments. Up next is the B-1R Lancer. This bomber is a planned improvement to the current B-1B bomber. Advanced radars, air-to-air -air missiles, and new Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines would be installed on the B-1R R for regional. The planned B-1R was to have a combat range of about 2,394 nautical miles or 4,433.6 kilometers with a succession of air defense armament systems to guarantee that the improved platform could defend itself and flee if necessary. Up next is the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider, which is a heavy bomber developed by Northrop Grumman for the United States Air Force USAF. It will be an advanced, extremely long-range, heavy payload stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the US Air Force, capable of delivering conventional and thermonuclear bombs as part of the Long Range Strike Bomber Program LRSB. It is intended to be able to penetrate the most advanced enemy air defenses after traveling thousands of miles from the safety of its home base. Up next is the F-15X Eagle II. This is an improvement version of the twin-seat F-15C fighter jet of the US Air Force. The F-15X features all the latest technology, as well as the capacity to carry 22 AIM-9X Sidewinder and AMRAAM medium-range air-to-air missiles. Boeing claims the F-15X can carry over 13 tons of weapons and fuel under its wings and fuselage far more than any fighter in production now. 
Up next is the EA-18G Block 3. The Super Hornet Block 3 structural enhancements will be incorporated into the EA-18G Block 3 electronic attack aircraft. The EA-18G Block 3 will be capable of handling more data and transferring it more quickly than the existing Growler aircraft. The first aircraft was upgraded to Block 3 in March 2021, and it is scheduled to return to service before 2025. Up next, we have the F-36 Kingsnake. The F-36 will be a non-stealthy aircraft that can still use low observability technology and current technology such as the F-22 Raptor's F-19 PW-100 engine. The Kingsnake like the F-16 it would replace, would be a multi-role fighter capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions according to popular mechanics. Missiles and guided bombs would be carried in internal base. As a non-stealthy aircraft, both would be carried on wing-mounted external hardpoints. Up next is the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, which is a sixth generation fighter program developed by the United States Air Force USAF with the objective of developing a family of systems to eventually replace the Lockheed Martin F 22 Raptor. The program, which aims to improve air supremacy, may see the FX fighters deliver considerably improved stealth capabilities and collaborate with unmanned vehicles. The NGAD, or Penetrating Counter Air, will have a greater range, larger payloads, and the potential to carry hypersonic missiles. Lastly, we have the FAXX, which is a development and acquisition program for a future sixth generation air superiority fighter to complement and eventually replace the United States Navy's FA 18 EF Super Hornet. Its renderings and concepts showed a stealth two seat twin engine tailless jet with a blended wing fuselage featuring a tandem cockpit. It has canards, which usually comprises the frontal radar cross section, but the lack of a tail shows an emphasis on all aspects stealth.